This just in Gigapixel 7.1.1. Worth the hype? Let's see. All right, let's get going here. In my first example here, I've got this picture I had to restore. It's always my go-to picture to check JPEG compression and denoising. So what we'll do as a plugin in Photoshop, we'll go to File, Automate, and Gigapixel AI. Now, first thing it'll do, it'll scan the image and do its own automatic thing. Let's zoom in. And right away, it's not bad, not bad at all. But always remember to try your options. First thing I want to do is I want to make its size a little different here. I want to make it six times as large. There, let's zoom out and just check out the JPEG compression and everything else. It's just cleaned up. That's just brilliant. Unreal how it can do that job. Zoom out a bit here. And you can see it back and forth. It just cleans it up. Love that. But what I tried when I was before I was filming was the new beta low res 2 here. And this one is even better. It's just unreal how good this is getting. I love this program. We'll zoom out. Check out the hair up top. Cleans it right up so you can get your picture ready for more restoration here. This is great. Now, always remember, if you think it's too much, try the other options and or use your options about compression, denoise, and sharpen. But right now, the low-res V2, I'm loving this. This is great for this picture. Now, one of the new features also is you can right-click in the middle of the image and hit Close Image. And then close the program if you want. Now let's save it into Photoshop and close it. Let's check out what it did before, after, before, after. Just brilliant. All right, in this second example here, I took this picture with my Apple iPhone 3GS years ago, and I wanted to do something with it. But, you know, due to its age and things, there's a lot of noise and everything going on. Its file size is 1536 by 2048. Let's zoom in for one sec here. And you can see the noise on the petals and the leaves and the water droplets here. Everything's kind of pixelated. Let's see what Gigapixel can do. Zoom out. File. Automate. Gigapixel AI. Now, right now it's scanning the image. It'll upscale it if need be. I don't want to do that right now. I want to see what's going on here. So let's zoom in. And what it does is it uses standard V2 to start the process. And it looks like it's not too bad. Let's zoom out. Let's check out some of the uh, leaves and stuff. Not bad, not bad at all. But what gets me is again, I used the low res V2 out of all of them to check to see what it was like. And bam, unreal. Look at the water droplets on the leaves. The petals and everything looks so soft and beautiful. Let's zoom out. Before and after, before and after when I go across here. Crazy good. This is unreal how it looks. I just love the way it cleaned everything up for me. This low-res V2 is kicking butt. So now, what if I want to upscale it? Well, let's go two times. See what it does to it. And we'll move it over again. And still, I love the water droplets and the leaves and the petals. Let's zoom out a bit. It's just crazy good. This picture has never looked this good. So what we can do, though, always remember, use your options. If you think, oh, that's too heavy-handed or that's not good enough, mess around with the settings. Find out exactly what you're looking for. But right now, this is what I'm looking for. I'm loving this. So let's export to Adobe and 
close the dialog box, zoom in a bit. Before, after, before, after. This is crazy good stuff. Well, there you have it. Topaz Labs Gigapixel 7.1.1 is simply the best for upscaling, denoising, and getting rid of JPEG compression, getting your photos ready to go. If you're interested in this product, check out my affiliate links below. I'm Don from Photo911. See ya.